Look at Vernon. This is the nickname that's given him here at the animal shelter because that's where he's found. And he is a really handsome guy, six years old, weighs about 60 pounds. And right now, it appears he's recovering very well from the quarantine for 10 days. But we are looking for his owner. The German Shepherd was stranded, stuck inside the L.A. River. Firefighters dropped him a lifesaver. He doesn't know what to do, so he panics, frantically tries to scale his way to safety when the L.A. City firefighter rappels down from the helicopter to rescue him. Well, as soon as I grabbed him, he just he, he was frightened, and you know now something you know somebody else in his view attacking him. He wasn't too thrilled about that, and he's going to defend himself. Uh, you know the fact that I'm there to help him is nice for him, but he doesn't understand that. So, uh, you know, he's just doing what dogs do. So he's already scared from the, the thunder and lightning, scared because he's stuck in the riverbed, and then to look up and, you know, see, you know, 10, 15 people coming at him dressed in these suits and, you know, cables hanging off of them. Um, he didn't know what was going on. Vernon was finally hoisted to safety, but before it happened, Vernon bit L.A. City firefighter Joe St. George. He suffered severe hand and arm injuries. So far, I feel fine. Um, you know, the thunder's going to start throbbing a little while. But right now I feel fine. Um, you know, it's, the adrenaline rush is still there. When he came in, he was really scared and nervous. His heart was racing and he was shivering. Um, but now he's doing much better. He's calmed down. His body temperature is up to normal. No broken bones, but this six-year-old boy didn't wear out his nails, causing them to bleed. How lucky is this dog you've been? Super lucky. I mean, I was there's times where even I got scared when he got swept in the current. I'm like, he's not gonna make it. Searches on for Vernon's owner. Could it be your dog? Okay, so no collar? No, no collar, no microchip, no ID. Mm. So we love to take, you know, contact his owners and tell them to come pick him up, and but we have no way to do that. And just take a look at how much Vernon loved Connie, one of the animal control officers here. So they're searching for his owner. They're asking the owner not to be afraid to come forward. He won't be penalized. They just want to find out who he belongs to. So if you have any information, please give them a call. And if you'd like to make a donation for Mr. Vernon here, log on to kingsley.com for more information. That's the very latest in Downey. I'm Elizabeth Espinosa. Back to you in the studio.